All right, so I couldn't sleep like at all. I actually haven't even made my bed. I, I literally got out of bed and came to my computer. Yes, I sleep with makeup on sometimes. I'm incredibly lazy. My bad. I'm actually really upset about something and it's something that I probably should have made a video on like a week ago. But it was something that I told myself I wouldn't make a video on and it's just been eating away at me and it's getting to the point now where um, I feel like I actually would be really upset with myself if I didn't make a video on it. Today we're going to be talking about the evolution of streamers and where it's going or what direction it's heading in because it's a pretty fucking shitty one. I was on Twitch the other day scrolling through all of the people that are streaming and I'm not going to call out names because you guys can all figure it out on your own anyways. But it was alarming at how many of those streamers were troll bait streamers. And when I say troll bait, I mean the kind of streamers where their whole stream is literally centered around being a piece of shit. In recent months, there's been more and more of these like cancer uh, troll bait streamers out there. They've been multiplying. And I basically want to explain to you guys why this is happening and why this is becoming such a popular thing. Because if we don't educate ourselves on it or like think about it, I think it's going to get out of hand. Actually, it already has gotten out of hand. And yes, before anybody makes a comment, there was a time where I was a troll clickbait streamer. And yes, I am not proud of that. And yes, that is actually the real reason why I stopped wanting to do the streams that I was doing. Basically what's going on in the world of Twitch, I figured I would use a science analogy touching on mutations. So we're gonna be talking about mutations. Is some biology bullshit coming in here. When there is a species, let's pretend that the streamer is a species, just like any other species. When there is a mutation, when it benefits the species in some way and gets them ahead, that trait is carried on. So let's just say that Casey Tron was that mutation. Actually, Casey Tron was that mutation. She was pretty much the first one to come out and like deliberately piss people off to get viewers, which is fine. I have a lot of respect for Casey. I think her material's original, actually. I think she's really funny and she is a diamond in, in the rough of troll bait streamers. She is the original and I'm not hating on Casey at all. Just letting you know. But Casey was the first. She was the mutation. Now, if a mutation is good, you'll see it reoccur within the species more and more and more until it becomes the popular mutation. For example's sake, uh, another female or another even male, there because there are male troll bait streamers out there, sees Casey and her success and wants to use the same platform to try and get the same success, right? Fair enough, we're all human beings. You see something work for somebody else, hey, I can make that work for me too. And then you have more troll bait streamers. The problem with Twitch is like life, it is very competitive, it is very dog eat dog. You are fighting for viewers. Because of this, more cases of troll bait streamers become more extreme. So you get really extreme troll bait streamers, and most of these streamers don't survive. It's the ones that kind of figure out a middle ground and compete with each other for views that seem to survive and, and live on Twitch, and even those have been banned a couple of times. And honestly, like, what can Twitch even do? They can't ban somebody for having a shitty personality. Like, how do you even come up for, with an excuse for banning somebody? Like, oh, no ban, you cry all the time. Can't handle it, gotta ban you. Like, you, Twitch has kind of got their hands tied with this. It's like people don't get it. People don't understand the demographic that these streamers are trying to hit. It's something that has been really bothering me lately. It's just, it's like... Casey is like one thing, right? But then you just go into this like extreme realm of fucking crazy. And I'm not gonna call out names. I'm really, I don't wanna go down that road of calling out names. But like the content creators that are doing it, you know who you are, man. And it's pretty fucking bad. I find it weird that the era of like cam girl streamers is pretty much died out like the fun of it is gone so now most of um the people that are popular on twitch that aren't um 100 gameplay oriented or a pro player are troll bait streamers it's not a problem it's like 
it's weird what got me thinking about this topic. It was pretty much the Leafy video. The Leafy video with H3H3 and H3H3 talking about how Leafy is, like, the cancer of YouTube and shit. And I was like, God, if... <laughs> If we're awarding Leafy the prize for cancer of YouTube, God forbid H3H3 ever go on Twitch and see some of the shit that's on there. Holy. My old stream, I had more people coming in there telling me to kill myself than I did have people coming in there to, like, you know? I guess um, the point of this video, or, like, this rant, is that I think people are not aware of the evolution of where we're going as a community and that makes me really fucking sad because there are some shitty ass Twitch streamers out there. Yeah.